Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? You are knowing what you are wanting? Changing? Growing? Expanding? You are understanding that you are creator? You are coming to understand that what that means is you are one who focuses energy and the powerful law of attraction responds to your vibrational offering and all that is manifesting around you is just an actualization of your vibrational frequency and that if you are ever wanting to know what your vibrational frequency is it is only a matter of being aware of the vibration that you are offering. You are vibrational beings mostly. You are aware of that? If you are aware that you are a vibrational being, then you are one of the leading edge thinkers because most physical beings are not aware of the vibrational nature of their being. Most of our physical friends are so aware of the physical content of their time-space reality that they do not realize how adept they are at interpreting vibration. The reason we like to begin there is because it is helpful for you to begin acknowledging the vibrational nature of your experience even as far as you can interpret it through your physical senses because then it helps you to understand in a further expansion of knowledge that you are vibrational beings totally. And what we notice is that once you make the mental bridge between seeing yourself as the flesh, blood and bone physical being to the awareness that you are first and foremost vibrational beings and that the flesh, blood and bone part of you is an interpretation vibrationally, then the fuller understanding of who you really are begins to be more meaningful. As we visit with our physical friends, you hear us refer to you as physical friends and of course you can feel the implication there that there might be some friends who are not physical and we say we would be such friends in other words we are projecting to you from our non-physical perspective and the reason that an understanding of vibration can be of great value to you is as you come to accept that reality is that of a physical nature you miss the majority of the reality that exists in this universe and it is only when you begin to reach to the idea of vibrational universe. It is only when you begin to understand that consciousness is far more than the physical beings that you see around you in your physical time-space reality that you then begin to understand the wholeness of who you are. As we began to express through Esther all these many years ago, and we are talking about the physical you and the non-physical you and how the non-physical part of you is projecting to you always, and as you translate this energy and allow it to flow through you fully, that you are then and only then really being the full being that you really are. In our pointing out to you the physical nature of your being and the non-physical nature of your being, it almost posed a greater separation between you and you. And yet we thought it was necessary to at least address the two different perspectives in order to help you begin that bridge in understanding that you are far more than you see here in these physical bodies. Well now you are becoming advanced students of deliberate creation and you are beginning to understand that you are indeed extensions of non-physical energy. And as you come to accept that you are physical extensions of non-physical energy and you become aware of the vibration of your being as you are projecting here in these physical bodies, now you can build a natural happy bridge between the non-physical you and the physical you. And once you do that, things like death become a non-issue. Those people who have made their transition back into non-physical no longer feel separated and apart from you. You come to recognize that in this universe which is vibrational, all that is required is that you find a frequency that aligns with something that you want and in doing so there are no barricades no separation there is nothing that could ever separate you from anything that you are wanting as you are standing in your physical bodies and you are 
looking into your physical experience and you are paying attention to the way you are feeling. It is through that paying attention to the way that you are feeling that you become aware of what the true vibration of your being is. And when you are aware of the true vibration of your being, then you are in the place of deliberate creating. For some time we've called this gathering the science of deliberate creation. And we think it is a very good title because in your awareness that you are expanding, the scientific word comes into place. In other words, it is an ongoing study that is ever evolving. We like the word deliberate because it helps you to realize that it is through some deliberate attention or effort on your part that you are achieving your vibrational harmony. And so we think it has been a very good title for this gathering of deliberate creators. But recently we're adding another title to the gathering because it speaks more to the emphasis that we think is important for you. And that is, we're calling this gathering the art of allowing because your emphasis if it is well placed, is upon holding yourself in vibrational harmony with the energy of well-being that is flowing to you always. That is the most significant stumbling block for most of our physical friends who are working on the science of deliberate creation. Even though you hear it from us and from others that there is only a source of well-being and that source is flowing to you always, and it is coming in response to your eternal asking. Whether you are consciously knowing it or not, as you are moving through your day-to-day -day experience, as you are moving through your day-to-day -day experience, you are giving birth to endless desires. Whether these desires are verbalized or not, they are being offered. So as these desires are being offered from you, the non-physical energies all that is, some call it God, we call it creative life force, this energy is eternally answering the request of your being. And so as you are asking, it is always being given. Every time, no exception. Whether you are a cell asking, whether you are a fully functioning human asking, whether you are a frog or a tree asking, it does not matter what point of consciousness you are vibrationally asking from, it is always answered. And all that you know as life, both physical and non-physical, comes forth from that projection, from that asking, and from that answering. So, the art of letting it in is talking about you, since you are asking, now being in a vibrational place of allowing what you're asking for. And while these words seem simplistic, it is very important for you to understand the important role that you play in this because it is possible for you to hold yourself in a vibrational mismatch to the very thing you are asking for. And when you do, you are not allowing what you are asking for to flow into your experience. We are wanting, first of all, to let you know that we understand that it is natural for you to continue your vibrational offering from the place that is more natural, more practiced. But when you begin the art of allowing on your quest for deliberately creating your experience, you must understand that your new effort is to reach for vibrational harmony with your desire and leave behind as quickly as possible your justification for your new desire. If you can release your need to justify what you want by expressing how unhappy you are where you are, you will be amazed at the speed with which the things you want begin to flow into your experience. You don't have to explain anything to anyone. You don't have to get permission from your mother, from your mate, from your employer, from your government. There is no authoritarian person or figure in your experience that has the power to hold you apart from anything that you want because you have the power to achieve a desire and to find vibrational harmony with it. And that's what letting it in is. Finding vibrational harmony with my desire. 
So how do I know when I have found vibrational harmony with my desire? I'm thinking about something that I want and I feel good at the same time. When you feel dissatisfaction with where you stand, you cannot possibly let in something that will satisfy you. They are vibrational mismatches. Then how do I get from this unsatisfying place that I am to a more satisfying place without being there first? In other words, once I get there, I'll feel satisfied. But before I get there, I'm not satisfied. So how do I get from here to there? You have to find thoughts that are satisfying in nature. The game of appreciation or the game of reaching for a satisfying thought is the best game that we know for causing you to vibrate in harmony with your new desire before it is manifested. And that is the thing that we most want you to hear. Most of our physical friends would say and have been living, well, once I get something that I want, then it's easy for me to feel satisfaction about it. But that's backwards in the way the universe is yielding. You must be a vibrational match to the very thing that you want. Creating is not about seeing something out there apart from me and then finding a way to bring it to me or me to it, like putting my lasso out there and reeling it in. What creation is about is identifying something that I might want, see if I can feel bit by bit by bit by bit by bit what its vibrational countenance is and then match my vibration to it and let law of attraction bring us together. Law of attraction is a powerful, powerful law. It has orchestrational abilities beyond your ability to perceive from your physical format. You just would be amazed if you could see an aerial view of the magnetic qualities of this time-space reality in which you are living. If you could just get an inkling of a feeling that whatever you are thinking and feeling and what is coming to you in all ways is always a vibrational match. The people you rendezvous with in traffic, the people you rendezvous with in hotels, the people you rendezvous with in personal and distant relationships, every aspect of your experience is a perfect vibrational match to the vibration that you are offering. And that's why we think it is of such great importance that you are willing to consciously work at understanding what your vibrational output is. Because it's always true. What I'm thinking and feeling and what's coming back to me in manifestation is always a vibrational match. We want you to begin to find pleasure from the visions that you form in your mind so that the manifestation becomes less important to you. Well, that's a little unsettling, isn't it? Is Abraham trying to talk us out of manifestations? No, we're trying to give you a shortcut to them. What we want you to understand is that it is your feeling of lack between where you stand and where you want to be that is keeping the time so long between where you stand and where you want to be. And if you could find a way of shortening that time of dissatisfaction by using your ability to imagine, then almost as soon as you formulate an idea in your mind, you can begin taking pleasure from it. And as soon as you begin taking pleasure from the desire that is formulated in your mind, you are now practicing the art of letting it in. In the moment that your new idea pleases you, there's no resistance within your being. And the universal forces that are always yielding to you, whatever it is that you're asking for, are being completely allowed by you. There's no resistance happening. And your manifestation is speeding toward you. Now, in time, it is our promise to you. You will become so good at this manifestation process that there will be fewer and fewer things of a physical nature that you will be focused upon. It won't be long before you'll be focused more upon relationships and moments in time and experiences and exposure to life and connection to source and all of that wonderful stuff that is really about who you are. But in no way are we trying, not even a little bit, to guide you away from the idea of manifestation. You are leading edge creators in a leading edge environment that is physically focused and you knew that in this environment you would be able to sharpen your tools and your ability to focus in the magnificent way that you know you are capable of doing.